Okay. So I think there's a couple of things that people should know about the energy sector in China. One of them is how big and how fast it is. China's economy has had 11% growth for years. Now it's a slow year, it's 7% growth. So uh, every year they put in about 100,000 megawatts of coal, uh, which means four times the UK's total coal load, one quarter of the US's total. They do it every year. It's massive, massive investment in coal infrastructure. 80% of their energy comes from coal. And uh, they realize that they have to actually handle the emissions, both pollution emissions, which are real, and carbon emissions. Towards that end, they are making serious and sustained investments in this, both in the context of large demonstration projects and in technology development, chiefly through two big agencies, one of them the Ministry of Science and Technology, the other in the National Development Reform Commission. But uh, those uh, investments involve some of the biggest companies in the world, and some of the biggest CCS projects anywhere. Uh, they are very serious about it, and they're moving very, very swiftly. Um, so I think it's entirely <laughs> credible to believe that they will be the demonstrated global technology leaders in a very short amount of time. And that that means that we need to partner with them, and we need to compete with them uh, in a very serious kind of way. Does everybody benefit ultimately if that partnership can be worked out? I think if the U.S. and China can collaborate together in a sensible way, we can accelerate the deployment of carbon capture and sequestration in the U.S. and worldwide by five to ten years, just by the acceleration of development of protocols, accelerating the development of markets, and accelerating the cost of cost-reducing technologies. And I think that that's a good platform for the collaboration between the two countries. And some of that's already going on from what we heard. Some of that is going on, and uh, some of that's being led by administrations in both countries. Some of that's being led by business leaders in both countries. Um, but I think, uh, like any serious program, it was going to require a sustained focus and a sustained investment to really get those benefits out.